Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sony Alpha 700 video. Now, the videos that I've seen on YouTube just now are not very good, not very detailed. So, I'm going to give my detailed one. Now, I've had this for nearly a day now, and it's amazing. I used to use the Sony Alpha A A350, so I just bought the body only 700 and used the lenses that I had for my 300. So, I'll get into it right away. So now I've got three batteries. One, two, three. And I've got one in the camera right now, obviously. So, I'll go ahead. Now, what's new on this camera compared to the Alpha 300 is... Now, I'll start with the top. Um, the button seems a lot more buttony bigger and thicker. We've also got a turn wheel here, but we've also got one here. The Sony Alpha um, A350 has got one just here and that's all. Um, so it's got exposure compensation, ISO, white balance, drive mode, um, onto the front. It's got an infrared for the wireless remote, which I'll go into later. It's got a button here, which you can set in the menu to either be a uh, focus lock or depth of field preview. Yes, this camera does have depth of field preview. So I'll show you an example. Um, I'll bring the, the aperture right up so you can see it. And what you do is, is you press this button in to see. So I'll get it up here. There we go. There we go. See, so you see? So if you hold the button in, you can see it changing. There we go. Um, that's new. Um, this this camera's like got all the buttons in the outside, so you don't need to go in the menus. It's got focus in here. Uh, now to the left side. What I needed was Studio Flash. So get Studio Flash now. Uh, we've got a remote a wired remote which I've got for my AC50. There's a port for the computer. Eh, no, sorry, DC in. It's for power. And we've got HDMI and computer. Now on to the back. The buttons are the same as the 350. Um, so I'm not going into that too much. Eh, this button here lets you change from manual to auto without even going to the front and toggling it like you had to do in the 350 so you just press so as you can see it's auto and then you just press and it changes it to manual so nice and quick uh, we've got a exposure lock button and then we've got metering modes here we've got two buttons down here which I've customised this button to be the D range optimizer and this one allows you to get into all the functions like that um, and now in the Sony Alpha C50 it was just buttons like that but this is a a wheel uh toggle um, now on to more technical things of it. The, the Sony 350 only shot 2 frames per second which is pretty lame. But this one shoots 5. So in the drive mode, before I show you that, in the drive mode we've got single shot, high continuous, low continuous, timer, bracketing in the wireless remote. So we'll go to high and we'll go to the frames per second so it's very fast um, slowing down a wee bit there because my card's a bit slow so it needs to write to it
um, the screen is beautiful. It's 3.2 um, A3. Um, I can't remember what the Sony 350 is, but all round uh, this camera is m more steadily built and easier to access. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you the wireless remote. It's for showing your pictures, but you can also take pictures wirelessly. To activate it, what you need to do though is go to drive mode and then select remote commander. So this camera could be sitting on a tripod and then I could use this to take the picture. So it's good for group pictures and stuff. Uh, oh, I forgot to show the card compartment. You can compact flash, but you can also put an SD card in there. So if this runs out, you can use the SD card. So that's about it, guys. Uh, if you want to see the image quality, uh, I'll post a, a rapid share link in the description. So sorry, guys. Uh, I forgot to add a little thing to that video there. Um, there's this thing. If you go to menu and um, you go to a bit that says um, two seconds um, yeah USB connection mass storage means that's how you take your files off the camera but remote PC I'll show you remote PC it means you can be in a studio well, this is just the example that I'm using. You could be in a studio. You could be taking the pictures, but you could have your editor on the computer checking them out as they're coming through. So, I'll show you an example. Um, it comes with software for Sony. It comes for Mac and PC. Uh, so, that's it there. Remote. Sorry, it's not focusing here. Remote camera control anyway. So I'll plug the camera in here yeah. and it says establishing USB connection. So we'll click on the remote and come up and it will say PC so I'll show you the so you can control the camera for here so if you listen to the camera I will take a picture with the camera oh, hold on right there we go right ready there we go. But the feature now I'll just I'll point the camera over um over here. So if you watch that folder you'll see the images popping up. So I'm pressing the button. There we go. So it's good if you're working in a studio or something like that so you can get the pictures straight to your laptop without having to save it to a card. So remember the link in the description 